So we're going to figure out what happened with the tests with the four idiots last episode. Oh, I love the show. And then we're going to get ready for these games. Tokyo. Man, I'm excited. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius, back at it again with Haikyuu, episode 4. Let me write that down. This one is called Center Ace, um, and we had last episode with Yachi, her mom, the relationship being built there, Yachi being amazing, coming up with some with a, such a cool poster, put around town to gather money to help with some of the funds, with getting a bus, whatever, transportation, lodging, whatever we need, you know, like so clutch and the perfect thing for a manager to do oh last episode was just so good but with that being said if you guys want full length or early access to this episode next episode whatever check out that patreon down below always there for you all those perks always in the description if you guys want to support me and patreon is not really your thing if you guys could just leave a like and a nice comment down below it genuinely helps push me out there into the youtube algorithm i appreciate you don't forget to follow me on twitch and on twitter for the updates and for the live streams let's hop into this Q episode four of season two center ace yes also called center ace <laughs> We're in Tokyo already, the pacing. Did Kageyama and, oh, they made it, but Kageyama and Hinata didn't. Some supplementary exams. Yamamoto, oh, Yamamoto even likes Yachi too. <laughs> He's like, there's two girls now. I love the designs of so many characters in the show. Episode 4, Center Ace. Damn, she's a hot teacher. That's the That'd be the reason I'm failing. Ooh, a taxi? Thanks, teacher. I'll see you later. I'll see you later. His sister, your savior, and even hotter senpai. We'd be taking a detour. We're not going to Tokyo. We're going to a hotel. A hotelio. Jesus Christ! If we can even make it there. Oh, that is hilarious. That no. When she said they'll get him to Tokyo in no time, she was not lying. Oh my God. Yeah, he's like, where's my boy? But he'll be here, don't worry. Damn, look at all these teams. Oh, Ubagawa, is that what that said? Fucking Shin Shinzen, whatever the fuck that said. Fuku Fukuradani, whatever the fuck that said. Hell yeah. I like it. I don't recognize him, but I like the color of his eyes. <laughs> I'll ride with you anytime, Psycho. Wow, how does she know? Did he go to school when she was in school? I knew it, man. That, yeah, because he'd probably like a celebrity if they went to nationals. Oh, are we gonna see a younger psycho? Damn, we are. Oh, that would have been so cool. Let me see it. Oh, let me see it. Oh, let me see it. Oh, I didn't get to see any of it. Oh, and they lost the set. Yeah, he's got that crazy aura, that crazy nan. <laughs> oh, that's so cool, man. I know we're going to meet him one day. Can't wait. Oh, they're not even doing it with balls. They're just straight diving just by itself. T 
Haruko. Oh, wow. A hundred serves at the end of their practices? I mean, there's a reason why their serves are fucking phenomenal. Makes sense. Ubugawa. so nasty with that shit. Masters of combos. Shinzen. Nakoma. Yeah, the perfect- Oh, he was on the- How did I not remember him? He most definitely was on the team. I just don't remember his- Those fucking eyes. I remember a lot of other people. Really? Akashi. Hey, hey, hey! Fuko Radani. Fuko Radani. I swear I had that room down. Well, yeah, but wait, wait, you guys, just wait. She's over here again. <laughs> She's getting fucking pissed at that, at the comments. Don't tell me it's the end of the episode. No, we're only like halfway through. Glad they, I'd be glad they made it in one piece too. Fashionably late? How annoying. <laughs> oh. Everyone just looking. You know when you show up late to a shit like this, everyone just be looking at you and shit? You're just like, ooh. <laughs> oh, we're even seeing the other teams during the commercial cuts? Fucking, that's crazy. He wasn't even watching. Good shit. So fast. The godlike quick. Oh, <laughs> he's gone. Akichi. And then. Ooh. Nice. I thought there was going to be a decoy this time. Good shit. Right? Don't act like we weren't losing earlier because of you guys. Finally, someone else's turn to lose. Yeah, these teams are not like some of the last teams. They can adapt so much quicker. Got some strong ass players, man. This is the guy. Yup, I was wondering why we didn't. He's like a snake. She's like a snake the way that shit moved, bro. I was wondering why I didn't see him last time because he was sub for Inuika. Yeah, he does have super long arms and legs. Yeah, let's talk about your team for a little bit. First year, half Russian, half Japanese. No wonder he has such a cool design. Wow. He just started and can already play like that. I see. <laughs> I want some. Yikes. Yikes. <laughs> Am I the guideline? <laughs> They're just so happy for their teammate. Western style names are so cool. Oh, speak of the devil. Or should I say, speak of the Russian lion. <laughs> I want to know how tall that is. I know you guys stay letting me know with that shit. So I appreciate you if you want to let me know. Damn, roasted. <laughs> Yeah, he can jump higher than you can even think. And that helps because he's so light. He has so much springiness, you know? He's so quick. He's so much explosivity. Explosivity. We're getting rivals every other episode, man. Oh my god, look how tall this guy is. Yeah, 
That's why it's called Center Ace. Hey man, fair enough. Power to you, dude. I like his confidence. He's so new. Maybe that's why he has so much confidence. Like, if you're new and you're already starting, you're already doing this good, like, it makes sense why you'd build an ego fast, you know? Let's see it, Leaf. Oh my god! He jumps so high. They lost. They made it to round two, though, I'm pretty sure. I remember they updated us last episode, right? They want stability. I would say yes. Evolution or stability? That's a good question. That's a man, look at this show going deep, man. Getting the mind games. I mean, it does beg, it does raise the question for every team as to how you get better because there's always been that question and not that question there's always been the people who are the who, who are the best are also the best at training or practicing does that make sense because and i'm just going to put it in pokemon levels for relative perspective to make it easiest to understand but let's say you're going from level one to level 50 you know like obviously level one it's going to be super easy off the rip but that actual skill gap between getting from 49 to 50, like as you go, it goes, it gets way harder to, 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 to level up and to continuously getting that XP as you're going. And so to go from a beginner to mediocre or intermediate is not that difficult. To go from intermediate to expert is also, is harder, but still doable. To go from expert to absolute master of like, like the, like it's crazy because you're not even jumping that far when you think about it from beginner to expert is probably like that far it's from expert to master is probably like that far but that little bit that you need makes you better than the rest of the experts like you literally the one of the best players in the world or you know put into perspective of whatever you're doing whether it be shooter games minecraft volleyball whatever i i just i think nekomata's outlook right there was really good because it's like when you get stuck in a roadblock, especially when it comes to your training, not necessarily the same training might always keep getting you better. Like you might, you might stagnate at a certain spot and then you got to switch it up, get fresh blood as, as leave would do, you know, as like, like I really appreciate just like the, the extra step we're going and, and making it. Cause like, it could be like any other show where I just yell for a couple of minutes and boom, we're already at that next power level. But no, we genuinely have to work very hard to get to go past our limits. Like these limits are set sturdy through there. So to get past it, it's an obstacle. Sometimes it might not work. Let's try something else to get over this limit. And I really appreciate that. I don't know. I wrote down as many students and teams as I could. I know there was somebody named like Ikichi. I didn't get his name sadly, but I got uh, Saiko, obviously. Tanaka's amazing sister. Um, but is it Tarako? Yeah, Tarako from Ubugawa. Ubugawa. Who they're all servers, which is awesome. Then you got Shinzen, they're the combo masters, just working, you know, the team. You know, they got sync they got they're really good at synchronizing their movements, all that kind of shit. I really appreciate that. And then Fuko Radani, who I swear I've heard that name before. Maybe not, but um that was the guy who's the other like top ace who has the top ace in the country like a, like you know a top five ace in their i don't know if it's prefecture or country but it's akashi a, 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 something like that and i love his design he seems super energized and red and excited about some potential challenges and competition I, I we're just breeding rivalries at this point we're literally having so many that i'm just i cannot wait for some of these matches Oh, I'm so excited. Hopefully you guys are as well. I will see you guys in this next episode. Remember, if you guys want early access or full length, always an option. Patreon's down below. Check out the next bunch without waiting. I appreciate y'all. Don't forget to follow me on Twitch and on Twitter for the updates and for the live streams. Catch you guys later. Peace out, Dapper Squad.